Massimo is going to make a roasted eggplant with tahini sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Eggplant is uh, a big one for my husband, but I'm loving that you're putting it with a tahini sauce. So let's talk about the roasting uh, yeah, to begin with. Absolutely. Eggplant, you know what, it's been uh, many, many years. Everybody knows, if they, especially if they are trying to stay light on meat, yes. they always ask for a vegetarian option. They always give a slab of eggplant that normally is badly cooked or badly seasoned. <laughs> so uh, they've been maligned a lot in, yeah. uh, in the last few years, especially by bad restaurants and bad chefs, right? Yeah. So what we do is... Uh, we try to dispel that myth anyway, because eggplants are delicious. And all over the Mediterranean basin, you have eggplant everywhere in many, many configurations. Mm -hmm. From pickled to uh, uh, roasted in pasta, in, uh, in um, uh, what do you call it, in, in uh, pickling vegetables and, uh, and so on. I mean, it, it's, it's an enormous amount. And mostly we eat them like that. Uh, in the Middle East especially, they eat the eggplant like, just like this. And they're generally done on the fire. Right. Because that burns off the skin, takes away the, the acidity that normally eggplant have, mm -hmm. and uh, they become very tasty. Now, if you don't have fire, you can always cut them in half, score them, throw them in the oven, and you're done, right? Yeah. I mean, it's very, very simple. Now, that takes away the acidity that normally the eggplant gives, and most people like me, I used to have a problem eating eggplant because, you know, they burn my mouth. They, they really, and I, I thought it was allergies. It's not allergies. It's just uh, the eggplant uh, natural acidity that really makes you feel that way. And but if you roast it like this, it's if you're going to get like rid of it? If you roast it like this on a fire, on a barbecue, if you have a burner just like that, you know, yeah. I mean, maybe you buy the little ring, a smaller ring. I couldn't find mine today for some reason, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, you know, you, you burn them like, just like so. You cover it just like you would do, uh, what do you call it, roasted peppers, right? Right. So then, uh, peeling off the skin is relatively simple. You just have to go like that, and you just peel it off. You and know. it should get to the point where oh. it's charred like that. You want oh, it yes. burnt. Uh, let, me, let me do this upside down so that... Oh, yeah, it should be charred. It should be charred because you get the beautiful aroma and the smell of burnt e eggplant, which is smoky, okay? Smoky. Absolutely delicious. Anyway, yeah. you take your time. You just do it. You make it just like that. Let's get rid of this. Let's cover it up, and you have an eggplant just like that, right? So right. the same as all the other one that I made earlier this morning. So now... What do you do? Uh, to dress it simply, I mean, okay, some chopped tomatoes in the summertime, you do some chopped tomatoes, onion, garlic, whatever. Mm -hmm. In my case here, I'm going to do a tahini sauce. Good call. Tahini is, uh, you buy good tahini for buy and it, it cannot be, don't buy it if you see it in the jar already separated because that's a lot of work for you to do. Yeah. Okay, to make it liquid, to make, Get tahini should stuff. be looking like this. No more, no less. So I'm going to make you work too. Okay, I'll work. You stir that. Yeah. And yep. I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of water to thin it down, just a little tiny bit. And then I'm putting kaffir. Uh, yes. Okay. Sorry, yep. this is a sour milk, right? Yeah. Uh, beautiful. I covered this my first time I went to Israel, and I drank a whole bottle like this. A whole bottle. Love it. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's mm -hmm. okay. It's delicious. And the chef in Israel showed me after all. This particular sauce, okay. which is not okay. sauce, it's done with a little bit of tahini water, lemon juice water. In this case, I'm going to put a little bit of kefir. I'm going to make super kefir. Thick? Yes. Like just what would like we that. be compared like like to? Like would it be uh, like half like and half a, cream? Like and half a liquid uh, yogurt. Basically. Okay. I'm okay. going to take a, a little garlic and I'm going to smack and I'm going to. Oh, this already smells good. Oh yeah. It smells good. Just like so, because it's like so. Basically, the recipe is done. I mean, you don't I mean much, and then it's nice little bit of garlic, bit of garlic. Uh, and put as much as you like, just as you like. So, you we like it. a lot. Yeah, you like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful. And then we take a little lemon. We take a little. Oh, okay. that's good. Let me. That. You have a nice juice. Have a nice juice. Mm -hmm. This is a juice. Look at that. Nice. Nice and nice. Oh yes. Oh, lemon going. Lemon going. I'm getting out of the way. I'm getting Keep going. That's okay. good.
So I'm going to just uh, drizzle. We have a beautiful Let's pita leaf, just that alone. Let's see if I can alone. put that down. You can get a shot of it. Absolutely. Cityline.tv for the recipe.